Hey friends, your old pal Bo here, the only man on YouTube with a face for radio and a voice for print, coming at you with my first four minis for the um, mini warm-up challenge. Uh, I do need to touch up the eyes a little bit, but these are substantially complete. If you can see a common theme here, these are going to be uh, for my faux um, inquisitorial retinue, my fake, uh, fake inquisitor army. So, um, yeah, I've got, um, some, an old, a couple old metal minis, uh, well, one that's an old, uh, sanctioned psyker. Um, yeah, I need to touch his eyes up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I would call them substantially complete. That was just this weekend's painting. Um, got, a uh, doot, 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 a crusader. I really like the shield. I was thinking maybe maybe freehanding something on the bottom of that scroll. I don't know. Um, maybe write something on there. I don't know. Something in Latin. But uh, it's actually a really nice mini. You can see the really he's trying to work on that black armor. It's uh, black and it's black ink. Um, it's contrast paint mixed with. Uh, Viejo's Sea Blue, Dark Sea Blue, to make the armor. Um, some are better than others. Again, it's sort of a learning, learning process here. Yeah, that guy needs a little bit of work on the eyes. Otherwise, not bad. I didn't use any contrast paints on the skin. I actually kind of making my own uh, skin flesh tone with uh, Viejo's whole red and golden so flat matte white mix it up and then try to just add more white to it and build up highlights uh i did get one eye that you know turned out oh, wrong one that turned out okay it's just okay um so that's been pretty much the last I mean, so when you see me in the streams you see me in uh i don't know hungar or DM James or uh, Justin or uh, you know any of our any of our friends uh, streams and I'm painting that's pretty much what I'm doing I'm really just trying to work on um, trying to push some contrast thinking about maybe varnishing that clear and then putting some ink in it I don't know it's it's I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze you really have to, you need to varnish it clear and then um, add an oil-based ink and then kind of rub the oil-based ink out with uh, odorless mineral spirits. So, yeah, next on the, just more of the same, you know, I've got more, inquis I've got a couple more Inquisitors. I've got this uh, regimental communication dude. He's ready to go. You can see he's prepped and ready. Um, I'll, I'll do him in maroon and black too. Um, even though he's a guard, uh, this is one of the, got these when they were like way cheaper than they are now. I can't believe what these are going for now. It's absolutely ridiculous. But other than that, more of the same. I did get the, uh, the metal minis from, uh, Stargrave, um, the based, um, and on 25 millimeter, um, 25 millimeter bases. Some, my preferred sand and kitty litter. Uh, and then some of the plastic um, scavengers. They're, they turned out okay too. So they're going to go, they're going to get the same paint scheme. They're a little bit smaller um, on the table than say this sister that I'm, again, she's, she's getting the same treatment. She's doing okay. Uh, so you can see what I'm where I'm going at. Hopefully, those will all be by the end of the month. Uh, so I'm really kind of proud with the way the capes are turning out. Really starting to uh, push a little contrast. I'm really trying to learn how to. Th these are not contrast paints. This is all uh, P3. Oh crap! It's a maroon color. P3 Sanguine um, with some Sanguine highlight. And some white uh, again mixed in with the sanguine, and then ink 
uh, AK Interactive Black Ink. I think I'm going to leave the buttons red. I don't really see any urge to go through and dot every single one of them. We'll do the grenade green, and then I'll do some probably some white gold or bronze on the shoulder pads. But you can really see the black armor there. That is really the look that I'm going for. Her hair is coming along too. That's uh, Viejo Glacier Blue. And then um, it's just that that's the slap chop coming in underneath it to give a little contrast. And I'll do some more black ink. And then I'll, I'll do an edge highlight with white. I usually do the guns charcoal gray with a lighter edge highlight. So that's that gun's not even touched. That's just the... Um, that's just a slap chop, but I'm just trying to give you a little work in progress on the week. So I'm actually, you know, guys keep me accountable. I am getting some painting, some real painting done. Um, this was from the Ashes of Waste Inquisitorial Retinue. Uh, again, you could just see, where's my finger? See what I'm going for? Um, not kind of doing these assembly line style, you know, batch painting. I'll go through and I'll get the robes. I uh, put a layer on them and then I'll do some other stuff and I'll come back and do another layer on the robes. Uh, this guy is about finished. He's a uh, astropath. I did not do him. I painted him before I painted them, so I didn't do him in the maroon. Uh, I'll probably do a little... Eventually, I'll probably do some uh, oh texture paints on the bases, maybe some uh, Martian red um, eventually. This is actually contrast paint, so you can, but it was over the slap chop and it needs a little bit more on the, uh, on the staff. So I got all three of them, the, um, the Imperial officers around here someplace. He'll, he'll get the maroon treatment. Oh, wait, where's the, um, the Inquisitorial Standard Bearer. I kind of want to show that guy off. The, the staff is actually turning out pretty cool. I haven't done the Purity Seal yet. So that's sort of the skin tone when it's at its most most basic. Skull turned out pretty cool. Wicked cool. And then said, I need to do another... I need to catch the... Um, the maroon under his shoulder, the rest of that robe. And then I'll go through and I'll add, uh, I'll layer that. I'll add some more color to the hands. So that's, that skin tone is, um, that's the, the hull brown mixed with the, uh, hull brown mixed with white, golden, so flat white. But it, it's, you know, it's okay. I'd say it's a fair tabletop standard. I obviously haven't done that purity seal yet. Or the the staff. I'll have to paint that um, up um, brown or black. Honestly, guys, the problem I'm having is that sometimes when I get like 99% done, I don't realize that I missed a really small mold line. And um, as the black armor, I really want to show that off. I'm really, that I'm really kind of proud of. I haven't done the other part of the seal yet. I'll do that, oh, I don't know, maybe steel or, no, I don't want to do a metallic. Probably a gray. I'll probably do it like a, a transparent gray. Oh, look at that skull again. That's pretty boss. Uh, again, and then they did the same black armor. It's uh, the transparent black mixed with the uh it looks a little more gray on this camera but i assure you there are a lot of blue undertones that the camera is just not picking there you can see them there so that's just what we're doing right now i don't want to move the camera too much because i don't want to uh show you too much of this table i'm afraid you'll call uh I'm afraid you'll call the uh the law on me for being a hoarder there's a necromunda guy i've got like four or five of these guys somewhere i've got the whole team um, but I don't know where they are. I mean, they're based and they're, and they're prime. So I got, again, I got to add a little bit more color to his arms. They're a little too pink. Suntan them up a little bit. Um, push some contrast on the gun, maybe some silver on the, on the muzzle device. 
but you know again just trying to really show that that blue uh, focus 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 he doesn't want to see so yeah, I really catch the blue on that do some edge highlighting so that's what we've been going on I, I want to have you know all this whole army done and it's just as much as I can add to it and get to it and then some of the uh, space vampires that uh, Brian from World War Weird World War Two sent hopefully have those done this month too so trying to get as much hobbying in as I can and considering I have other hobbies and other family responsibilities I probably need to push a little bit more contrast on that coat it's not bad it's it's tabletop right it's tabletop I'm not winning any golden demons um but I love the it's almost like a rot iron or forged iron with a, almost a patina and I picked that up from uh, Vince Venturell I think I'm not doing it justice he does it way better than I do but um, so we're making some progress we're 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 making it we're doing the best we can um, the more I get done the cleaner my table gets and then uh, probably to order some more Neodymium magnets from uh, f from Flea Bay to uh, get these all in my mini, and then I'm the uh, the novitiates. I'm gonna do the novitiates with brown instead of maroon. I guess it's more.